Hello everyone, it's Janine here at my studio space and um, today I thought we'd have a go at some um, mark making so um, I have all sorts of different bits and pieces um, lids, um, there's a scourer there um, card, sponge, um, wallpaper you'll see the different things as we go along so I'm just um, using some acrylic paint to um, to stamp the different things and make marks on my sheet of paper. Um, some are more bold and some are more subtle. Um, but this is just a lovely experimental way of doing some art and just seeing what kind of textures and marks you can get with some um, perhaps unconventional things that you wouldn't normally think of painting with. Um, for this video I'm just doing um, abstract just to give you some ideas um, and show you the kinds of things that you can use but um, as you you know get used to the kind of different marks that you can make you um, could go on to do something more um, figurative but I, I enjoy this as an abstract process um, personally um, and also um, if some of you don't enjoy the messy approach here I've got um, another way of doing it without using acrylic paint um, later on in the video and um, as you can see I particularly like getting messy and I'd been using my fingers to spread the paint around on some of these things um, but um, you know feel free to use a paintbrush you do not need to use your fingers like I am I just like to get in there and get messy um, so yeah here's some close-ups um, as you might have noticed I used um, some sample bits of wallpaper and some bits of carpet as well in this but yeah basically you know use what you have and um, raid your recycling bin it's always good to try and reuse things um, and here I'm just doing another one I had some paint left and I was just getting into the flow of doing this um, and you can see um, because now there's slightly less paint left on the bubble wrap I'm getting slightly different texture so it's good to um, experiment with the amounts of paint that you're using um, sometimes it can be easy to accidentally put too much paint on but then that just creates a different texture so you know there's no right or wrong in this um, just um, here as I said I was just using the rest of the paint and I wanted to show you um, what you can get with slightly different amounts of paint So yeah, I've just been um, dragging the fork in the paint and then using the other end of the fork as well to make some dotty kind of marks across my paper and um, I'm repeating the dotty marks across the paper to um, make my um, artwork a bit more coherent um, by having the repeated marks across the page. Um, and now here I thought I'd have a go with using the same kind of mark like repeated across the page to make a kind of pattern um, this is just a sponge and I applied paint to it and then I'm twisting the sponge I think that makes quite a nice um, pattern and now um, as I said I'd show you a slightly less messier option this is um, using um, uh, stamp ink pads so for any of you that are into your crafting um, you've probably got ink pads um, lying around mine or like ones that I can um, lift out of the uh, out of the box and use them separately so mine's uh, slightly different to maybe your standard ink pads but um, you know any ink pads are fine um, and this is um, shows up a bit more detail than perhaps sometimes the acrylic paint does um, it's a bit more subtle um, I think I'll zoom it in a minute and you'll be able to see that yeah there you go it's quite subtle marks but yeah hopefully you can see that a nice texture from the wallpaper sample I had there um, and it did work in acrylic paint um, it's just this way it just uh, picks up the marks slightly differently and it's um, an option for those of you that um, don't really enjoy getting so messy with the acrylic paint uh, this can still get slightly messy but it's a bit more um, like controllable got some acrylic paint on there it gets everywhere but um yeah 
back to the sponge again to see what that does with the ink instead of the um, ink pads instead of acrylic paint. It still creates a nice texture but um, different to the paint. Oh, and um, if you keep watching I'm going to show you how I added a background to um, to one of my um, earlier mark making pieces that I showed you. Um, yeah, this is another wallpaper sample. Um, yeah, this this works um, worked really well. Get a nice texture from this. So obviously, you know, you're not going to have exactly the same things that I have, but um, when you start looking around your house, I'm sure you'll start looking at things in a in a different way. And um, this is some kind of bubble wrap, but it's a little bit more sort of stiffer than your standard bubble wrap. Um, and this um, created a nice texture as well. For any of you that have watched my other videos and were wondering, um, Pugsley, my assistant's dog, is um, still at the Fosters. He's um, still not too well, but you know, he's he's doing okay, um, and he will hopefully be back with me soon. But um, yeah, still um, feeling a bit lost without him at the moment. But yeah, hopefully he'll be back soon. Um, for any of you that would like to see um, a more sort of figurative way of using this and um, using mark making to create um, like images, figurative things rather than abstract. Um, do let me know in the comments below and I'll have a go at doing that for you or anything else you'd like to um, ask or chat about in the comments below please do, it's great to hear from you yeah so I have like a separate mark making box um, by my studio space where I keep all sorts of different random bits and pieces because you never quite know when you might want a different kind of texture or something to add into a piece of artwork um, so obviously here we're using these um, mark making techniques standalone but you could um, use it within like a, a normal painting like if you just want a certain texture within your painting um, then you know you can create that by different um, different mark making techniques but um, I love doing this kind of thing just doing loads creating loads of different marks on the page and having it abstract um, I think it's nice and relaxing um, you never quite know what you're going to get but that's you know all part of the process um, I've um, done things like um, cut my mark making pages up into um, different shapes before and use my greetings cards um, I think they're great for um, getting nice close up photos or you can get some really nice um, details and kind of crop, crop it to the bits that you like because there might be some bits that you um, like on your mark making page more than others and it's great for art doing backgrounds too if you're into your art um, um, you know you could use these as like um, pattern papers if you're into your craft um, then you know it's kind of like creating your own pattern papers and um, this is the one that I'm now doing a background on because um, this one's um, an acrylic paint one from earlier um, the acrylic paint will resist the watercolour um, so you can create a nice background so this is my um, watercolours that I'm using make sure the acrylic paint is dried thoroughly before doing the watercolour background though and these are the um, final um, pieces so I hope you um, enjoyed this video and um, thank you for watching um, please do subscribe if you haven't already and thank you to those that have okay Bye for now.